Hey guys, I thought I'd do something a little bit different on this road trip. So for the next six months, I'm gonna be traveling across the country, visiting some of the most gorgeous places, and I wanted to take you guys along, do a little bit of video this time around. I don't really get much into video for a variety of reasons, but I thought it'd be interesting to mix it up a little bit and put together some video clips at each location. So my first location, again, is the Great Sand Dunes. And just last night we had a snowstorm blow through, so all the mountains are covered in snow. It looks really spectacular. And it's a little bit overcast right now, but tonight it should be nice and clear for some Milky Way photos. This will be my first real uh, night shoot of the year, so I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully I can take you along for that journey as well. But anyway, just wanted to thank you guys all for subscribing over the past couple months. And uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna have more tutorials coming and hopefully more of these travel videos as I travel across the country. One thing you might not realize is that I'm actually living out of my car the whole time I'm on the road, so for the next six months. And it might sound pretty rough, but it's honestly not that bad. I've got a bed in the back so I can stretch out, and I have just enough room for all of my gear, uh, which is nice. But my first year I did this, I was in a Chevy Malibu and I was stuck here in the front seat sleeping for about two months and that was really miserable. Uh, I barely got any sleep and then if it was nice I'd go camping but that was you know every other couple days. Just to give you an idea I can show you around real quick in my car here. I've got my backpack if I do any hiking and my cooler down there and then my bed's buried under all this stuff but I got my laptop charging, uh, some sleeping pads if I go on a hike, got all my clothes here and camping gear and camera gear. So overall, uh, it's pretty roomy, honestly, especially when I hunker down for the night, I can move stuff around so I have more room in the bed. But this is an amazing way to live, provided you can uh, get a car that fits nicely for you. I often get asked what my favorite lens is, especially for landscapes, and to be honest, I really like the 150-600 to here from Tamron. Uh, it allows you to create really unique compositions just because you're able to zoom in so far. So for example, here we have the great sand dunes, and it looks really nice at a wide angle, but everything's very small and diminutive, even these massive mountains. So when we use the 150-600, to especially zoomed in all the way, uh, we're able to isolate different areas and really create unique compositions that are impossible to get otherwise. So for that reason alone, uh, a telephoto lens is one of my favorite lenses to have while I'm traveling. Well, here we are at the end of a long day. This was my first full day in Colorado, and it's been a beautiful day here in the sand dunes. Found a nice spot just outside the park to sit and watch for the sunset. I'm hoping these clouds will work out. I think they will. We should get some really nice color here. And then once the sun sets, I'm going to head back into the park and do some nightscapes and astrophotography. And then uh, after that, hopefully I can get at least a few hours of sleep because I've got another long day ahead of me tomorrow. But uh, as of now, things are pretty good, and it looks like we're going to have a great sunset. It's just about sunset here on the dunes. Uh, it took me about an hour to climb up here. If you've never been in the sand dunes before, these sand dunes here are hundreds of feet tall and they're just insanely difficult to climb up, but it's a good workout. I thought I'd give you guys a quick look at my campsite too. Uh, I got all set up here in this sand and looks like it's gonna be pretty cloudy tonight, but hopefully uh, I can still do some long exposures and we'll see what happens. Well, that sound you just heard was sand pelting the side of my tent. 
uh, as you saw, it was a beautiful, serene afternoon, and then everything went to hell. Uh, I woke up, and the wind was just howling, and sand was blowing everywhere, and uh, what I ended up having to do was just pull the plug on the night. I was really hoping to stay out and do some long exposures. That's one of the main reasons I came here, and there was just no way to do it with the wind. So while I packed everything up, everything got completely covered in sand, and if you've never had to pack up a tent before in the middle of a windstorm, it's a nightmare, uh, to be sure. Anyway, to make things worse, I started heading back to the car, and then I realized I, wouldn't, I wasn't able to see the car. It's pitch black. I had a rough idea of where I was at, but uh, I couldn't afford to walk in the wrong direction and be way off course. So I had the bright idea of using my camera. You know, when I shoot a long exposure, I can see in the dark, basically. So I said, okay, I'll set up my camera, take some shots panning across, and I should be able to see the car. Unfortunately, I set up my tripod, put my camera on there. I went to grab uh, something out of my backpack, and the wind blew my tripod over, and uh, the lens went face first into the sand. So that was my 24 to 70 lens, my favorite lens for my road trip photos, you know, it's always on my camera. Um, it's ruined, so uh, it won't zoom anymore. Uh, the, I, I assume the sand just got in everything. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the worst news of the night, is that my most used lens is destroyed. Um, and now I'm headed to Moab, Utah here in a day or two, so I really gotta think of something quick. Uh, because best case scenario, you know, Nikon may be able to fix it, but I can't afford to wait six weeks for them to get it all fixed and back to me, especially even on the road. I don't have an address I can ship it to. Um, I'd have to do, you know, the drop shipping or whatever, so... Uh, this is just becoming a nightmare of a night. Um, really not what I was expecting to, to happen. So after the camera, and I think the camera body's fine, by the way, but... I need to double check that. Um, anyway, I had the bright idea, you know, my phone obviously has GPS, so uh, at that point I turned on the GPS and I realized that I was relatively close to the car, but everything just looks so different at night, obviously. Um, so I managed to bushwhack through and using the phone and just navigating in the dark, I was able to get right back to the car after a little bit of uh, bushwhacking and thank god I made it back here because I did not want to spend a night just out there in the dunes lost. Uh, that's the only good thing about tonight. So what started off as a beautiful serene afternoon and what should have been a beautiful night out in the dunes under the stars turned into uh, a complete nightmare. So um, this is definitely not how I expected this video to end. You know we start off on a real high point here in the great sand dunes uh, but yeah, now I'm out a really good lens and I got to figure out something quick because I cannot afford to be without it. Well, I'm here in Alamosa and actually have some good news after last night. Uh, after blowing some sand out of here, just using a little rocket blower and trying to force the lens to zoom. Uh, again, it was stuck at 70 last night and now I'm able to go the full range from 24 to 70. Uh, so the lens seems to be functional at this point. I was not expecting that at all. I thought it was going to have to get sent in for repair. So, very happy about that. Still bummed I didn't get the shots I wanted to last night. I've been really looking forward to that for a long time. But, got to keep moving. So, today I'm going to drive over to Durango and Mesa Verde. And at that point, I'm going to go to Telluride. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys in a video from Telluride in the uh, southwestern Colorado. But, anyway, um, that about does it for the Great Sand Dunes video. And I'll catch you in the next one.